This is Dr. Brenda Miller Chambers, and I'm excited to tell you about Choices. Choices is a faith-based youth mentor program for youth in West Putnam County. Choices is the youth component of step-by-step women's grief ministry for the victims of homicide and suicide survivors, which I founded in 2020 after the yet unsolved murder of my son, Tyler Williams, who grew up and attended school in Interlochen. Choices is designed to work with our rural communities youth, offering positive alternatives to many negatives. Choices focuses on leadership development, goal setting, and life management skills. Choices launches on Tuesday, May 9th, 6 p.m. in the Interlocking Community Center and will be held there monthly on the second Tuesday. Find out more on Hope FM's community calendar or our website at stepbystepwgm.com. Chambers and welcome to Choices TV. Choices TV is the youth mentor outreach of step-by-step women's grief ministry for the victims of homicide and suicide survivors. If you have lost someone as a result of natural causes, heart attack, uh, cancer, automobile accident, those you don't expect, but we understand they are a part of life. They, they happen. What is unusual and what you don't expect is when someone is murdered or commits suicide. It is a totally, totally different death. It's a totally different situation that you have to deal with and I I had that experience and having to deal with in September and July of 2020 my son Tyler was murdered and that's that phone call you hope never comes you know that, that all I'm sorry I didn't have my mic here to be get my mic back okay that phone call that you Hope never happens, but one day comes. Well, I tell you what, I, I, I received that phone call and it was devastating um, when I received the call that my son Tyler was murdered. When a woman loses a loved one from homicide or suicide or a violent death, it's a totally different experience than losing someone, like I said, from disease, accident, being in the military, or, you know, any of those things. The questions that you ask yourself, uh, the loss, uh, frustration, sadness. You know, you look back and you say, what could I have done? Or did I miss something? Was there something that happened? You know, they say there are five stages of grief when someone dies, but I couldn't find them. I, I couldn't get there. And people would say, Dr. Brenda, Brenda, listen. It's, it's going to be all right, you know, day by day. You're going to get through this day by day. It wasn't happening. I couldn't get through it. <laughs> Every day I was like, Lord, I'm just trying to get through this day. I couldn't get through it day by day. I was trying to get through it step by step. And as a result, in September of 2020, I launched Step by Step Women's Grief Ministry for the Victims of Homicide and Suicide Survivors. I'm going to drop that link in. I didn't put that in and, and the, uh, for the victims of homicide and suicide survivors, especially those moms that were there that had to deal with this. And uh, we buried Tyler in, we had a funeral up in the mountains in Silver, North Carolina for myself and um, my husband, Dr. Will Champis and Tyler's stepdad, where we were living in Murphy, North Carolina. Well, we came back to Florida to bury him back here in Palatka next to my mom and dad and it was, it was hard, but after the funeral, we went back to North Carolina. And folks, I'm telling you, when I crossed that North Carolina line, 
my husband said, he, he just looked at me and he knew and I said, I don't want to be here anymore. I want to go home. I, I want to go back where Tyler is and everybody else. I want, I just wanted to go home. I didn't want to be there, you know, anymore where all of that had happened, where for the grief, the sadness and all that was, I wanted to come back home. And so for the last three years, you know, COVID hit and all of that, and I had health challenges, but all through that time, I was still dealing with step by step. You'll see those flyers on the screen, step by step women's grief ministry for the victims of homicide and suicide survivors. Step by step was designed to help to reach out to those mothers that was dealing with that and all those situations. So we did that. We put those things in place. But then I realized we were here and then we were getting ready to launch our ministry back here. We had been doing online and then we were preparing a few months ago uh, to launch our ministry in West Putnam County in the Interlochen area. Well, as it would have it, Interlochen is exactly where uh, Tyler and Teresa, the babies, were actually raised more uh, than the older two. Teddy and Terrell, they were more the, the Orlando Travis was kind of, yeah, they were more the Orlando kids and Teresa and Tyler were the Interlochen Putnam County kids. Tyler went to Interlochen Middle School, I mean to Interlochen Elementary, Price Middle, and Interlochen High School. He was in that area. When I went there, when we went back to launch the Embassy Church of God in Christ there in Interlochen, uh, it was there that we realized and saw that the Lord spoke to me to launch this. You'll see that information on the screen with my name, step-by-step uh, -step, women's grief ministry uh, on the information where you can get that information off on the screen and make sure you can go to that website, step-by-step -step women's grief ministry. On that website, you will see the header for Choices Youth Program. When you go there, you will see the header for Choices Youth Program program and uh, you, you can go there and you can see that and follow that information and get that. Well, the Lord spoke to me and said, listen, launch this program and look at what you could do if you could stop one mother from experiencing what you're experiencing. If I could stop one person. And so what happened is I formed choices to get in front of the murder, the suicide situations and more. And choices is to deal with the youth before they get to that point. We're going to show them some vital information and things that I know you're going to be interested in. This is kind of the parental adult version uh, and we'll be talking more to the youth version of that as well. Once again, I'm Dr. Brenda Miller Chambliss and this is Choices TV a youth, a program promoting the youth mentor programming choices. We're going to go away for some spots and I'll be back after that. Hi, this is Dr. Brenda Miller Chambers and I'm excited to tell you about Choices. Choices is a faith-based youth mentor program for youth in West Putnam County. Choices is the youth component of step-by-step -step women's grief ministry for the victims of homicide and suicide survivors, which I founded in 2020 after the yet unsolved murder of my son, Tyler Williams, who grew up and attended school in Interlochen. Choices is designed to work with our rural communities youth, offering positive alternatives to many negatives. Choices focuses on leadership development, goal setting, and life management skills. Choices launches on Tuesday, May 9th, 6 p.m. in the Interlochen Community Center and will be held there monthly on the second Tuesday. Find out more on Hope FM's community calendar or our website at stepbystepwgm.com. When you lose someone to homicide or suicide, it's totally different than a regular death, not saying that it is, but it's different from an automobile accident or cancer, COVID. You kind of expect those if you wait for them. But when someone dies 
that's murdered or commits suicide, there's all these unanswered questions. What could I have done? How could I avoid it? How did this happen? You know, you blame yourself. You go through all of those things. And the five stages of grief did not help for me. And I found myself saying, people say, well, day by day, you're going to be able to do it. I can do it day by day. I was just trying to go step by step. And so I formed that three years ago. When we came back here to Florida, and we are pastors of the Embassy Church of God in Christ, and we came back here, we've been in ministry over 20 years, and we came back to relaunch uh, our ministry back here in Florida. We went to West Putnam and Interlochen, which by chance is where uh, Tyler, we were at when he came up. So he actually attended uh, Interlochen Elementary, Price Middle, and Interlochen High. And when we were launching the church, it just came to me, it's great what I'm doing with step by step after someone has lost someone to murder or suicide. But this was like in February. I was like, if I can avoid one parent, one mom from going through what I go through every day, the pain, the hurt, the trying to get over it, if I could prevent that somehow. So why don't we reach out to the young people first before it happens? And in looking and taking a little info and doing some research and demographics, one of the things I realized that the young people are doing is making bad choices. So Ergo was birth choices. It's a youth, faith-based youth mentor program to work with youth and to help them make positive decisions. We have three goals with men, and what was really great is the front page paper on Wednesday, May 3rd of the Palaka Daily News, which talks about officials facing school vamping epidemic. And the epidemic that we're facing here, and uh, the superintendent of school, Rick Sorensen, was talking and saying that students' use of vaping products is something our school administrators have been dealing with over the years, but it's increasing. And that was right in time because we started step by step in February, and now we're looking at all of these things, and the purpose of choices is designed to work with especially rural youth community. We're in a rural area, and one thing that young people try to do is keep up. Now they're trying to keep up with TikTok. They're trying to keep up with YouTube. They're trying to keep up with all of these things. And what they're seeing, they don't realize half of those things are set. They rented that room. They did that. It's not reality. And so they're trying to recreate and they're making choices from unreal views. So what we're trying to do is reach our county with choices. And it's designed to work with our rural communities, youth, and then offer positive alternatives in a world that has so many negative alternatives. Our three goals to focus on leadership development, goal setting, and life management skills. Uh, the Putnam County um, Recreation Department has been so kind to offer us. So the first Tuesday of the month, we're in the Interlocking Community Center. And that's tomorrow. We'll start and, and launch the first one. And we're thanking you, Mr. Deloach, for giving us this opportunity to get the word out about choices. Well, I'll tell you what, we are very happy that you chose to do this and that you chose to come and uh, do it here. We appreciate very much that I have lost a nephew to suicide. And so you know exactly. Firsthand. You know firsthand. You know, you sort of wonder, what could I have done? Did I miss something? Right. You know, good. All right. So t tell us how, how this works. How is this going to uh, is it, it just talking to them, or is it giving them uh, information? Are we looking for the whole family to come? How are, how are we working with All that? of the above, uh, because my, my background is in media, um, even though it's really been over the last 35, 40 years television. Uh, we're part of the NRB, our media outreach, bodybuilders, television network. We're part of the NRB, all of these things. But coming in here, I'm so excited because radio is my first love. I came into radio in 73, so I love radio. And so what we're doing is offering information resources. We will actually be bringing in guests. Besides hearing me, we're gonna be bringing in guests that will speak, those that made 
bad choices. You know, those, so also the young people can see, like you, Mr. Deloach, they don't understand what they put the parents and relatives to when they make choices. Your choice is not your own. So the choice that you make, it does involve others. And what we say is, yours, the choice that you make, you fail or succeed by the choice that you make. So we have, and then one of the things, we have our website, but also in August, before they go back to school, after we get a couple of broadcasts under our belt, we're going to be launching a YouTube channel because as much as you can do with the young people, they're going to be online. They're tech. So you got to get to their devices, and that's where we're going. Excellent. Excellent. We're happy that you came back. And Thank you. You were in our community. We appreciate you very much. Thank you. All right. Give us the time and the place again, and if there's an information or website or yes. a number to call for them to get more information. You can get more information by calling 828-316-7408. That's 828-316-7408. The website is stepbystepwgm.com. Stepbystep wgm.com and we will be meeting in person in the interlocking community center 315 one uh, 315 135 south highway 315 in interlocking once again without blubbering that is 135 south highway 315 in interlocking i'm sorry i can't help but do the radio voice i love it <laughs> And what time? And that's at 6 o'clock p.m. in the Interlocking Community Center. Okay, if they want more information, that they can go to the website or call the uh, information. Or just uh, simply stop by tomorrow night and uh, check it all out. And you said you're going to be doing this once a month. Yes, we'll be doing it there once a month, but also we're going to be working on, we do have our website that has programming things on there on the website that's available as well. All right. Thank you very much. We appreciate you joining us. And uh, again, Dr. Brenda miller Shambles with Choices Youth Mentoring Program. Again, that's tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Interlochen Community Center. Thank, Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Well, you look good. All I mean, a lot of people come in just this early in the morning time. <laughs> you must be used to being a radio. There's some folks come in here and say, oh, my gosh, couldn't we have done this late? Oh, I love, I love radio. It was so funny. One time when I was living in Orlando, I was living in Orlando, working at the radio station in Jacksonville, I would literally get up six in the morning and drive because I had to be on air at 8.30 in Jacksonville. And I loved it. I love radio. <laughs> Thanks so much for having us. Yes, sir. Hi, this is Dr. Brenda Miller Chambers and I'm excited to tell you about Choices. Choices is a faith-based youth mentor program for youth in West Putnam County. Choices is the youth component of step-by-step -step women's grief ministry for the victims of homicide and suicide survivors, which I founded in 2020 after the yet unsolved murder of my son, Tyler Williams, who grew up and attended school in Interlochen. Choices is designed to work with our rural communities youth, offering positive alternatives to many negatives. Choices focuses on leadership development, goal setting, and life management skills. Choices launches on Tuesday, May 9th, 6 p.m. in the Interlocking Community Center and will be held there monthly on the second Tuesday. Find out more on Hope FM's community calendar or our website at stepbystepwgm.com. And we are back. Hi, this is Dr. Brenda Miller Chambers with Step by Step TV and launching a new broadcast on today, Choices. Choices is a youth outreach program that we are targeting and launching on tomorrow. Mar tomorrow, May 9th, we are launching Choices Youth Mentor Program in West Putnam County. I'd like to thank the West Putnam County Recreational Department for donating the space for us to reach that area and county. You know, one of the things that's really um, timely about um, choices coming into the Interlochen and West Putnam County area, there has recently been a increased rash 
of um, vaping incidents in the area. Uh, we have a flyer that on Wednesday, May 3rd, the front page of the Palatka Daily News said, officials, schools facing vaping epidemic. Uh, the, the superintendent of school, Rick Surrency, said, and I quote, students' use of vaping products is something our school administrators have been dealing with at an increasing rate over the past few years. And recently here in Interlochen, there has been several, as it says, Putnam County officials as well as campuses nationwide are contending with the massive vaping problem local officials said there are many misconceptions about vaping for what it actually is putnam county sheriff's office spokesman allison waters merritt said and she encouraged parents to speak to their children this is not just a countywide issue but it is a nationwide issue that we are facing and parents we want you to help get in front of this and so when i was dealing with the loss and murder of my son, Tyler. I think we have a shot of photo of Tyler. When, when we lost Tyler, no, we didn't lose him. He was murdered and his murder is yet unsolved. He was stolen from us. We were robbed of his murder me memories, not just the past that we had, but all the future, birthdays, children, grandchildren, anniversaries, new home car, all those things were stolen from us. Someone made a choice to take my son's life. So what we want to do with choices is to try and deal with young people before they get to that point. Choices, a youth mentoring program that we're dealing with and as you're gonna hear on the radio spots and that was one We've got three. Today has been a busy day, Dr. Will, right? We have been to three, three different radio interviews today, and we've got more spots and promotional things that are gonna be coming up. Choices is designed to work with, in this area, we're launching this in Putnam County, where it started with the rural community's youth to offer positive alternatives to a world that has so many negatives. We're gonna be dealing and focusing on leadership development, goal setting, and life management skills. These are the areas that we're gonna be dealing with. I wanna get more information out to you. So listen, now I'm gonna to go to another spot of another interview that we did. Am I going, nope, what I'm gonna do now, of what we're gonna do now is I'll talk a little more about step-by-step -step women's grief ministry. This is where it was all launched. We also have what we call our Wall of Remembrance that we honored and launched September the 25th is the National Day of Remembrance for Murder Victims. We also honor that as well. I'm going to go to, as you can see with the spots on the screen, about step by step to make sure that you can follow us and go there. Then we're going to go to a couple of spots, some more information from our step by step Wall of Remembrance. Then our next interview, I think that's at Hope FM 91.3. And I'll be back after that. This is Dr. Brenda Miller Chambliss, Step by Step, Women's Grief Ministry for Choices, Youth Mentor Programming. And I'll be back after this. Step by step, I'm walking this road. Never thought I'd. When I think about the mercy you've shown me, I must confess you can use anything. Indeed, I'm walking step by step. If it had not been you by my side. When the enemy came in for my life Now I know he would have destroyed me Leaving me to die in my sin and shame
Hi, this is Dr. Brenda Miller Chambers, and I'm excited to tell you about Choices. Choices is a faith based youth mentor program for youth in West Putnam County. Choices is the youth component of Step by Step Women's Grief Ministry for the victims of homicide and suicide survivors, which I founded in 2020 after the yet unsolved murder of my son, Tyler Williams, who grew up and attended school in Interlochen. Choices is designed to work with our rural communities youth, offering positive alternatives to many negatives. Choices focuses on leadership development, goal setting, and life management skills. Choices launches on Tuesday, May 9th, 6 p.m. in the Interlocking Community Center and will be held there monthly on the second Tuesday. Find out more on Hope FM's community calendar or our website at stepbystepwgm.com. And if you would say something in there for me. Check one, two. Good morning. You're listening to Hope FM. This is Robin and Dr. Brenda Miller Chambliss is in the studio with me this morning here to tell us about something that she is kicking off in our community tomorrow evening and yes, uh, and kind of how it got started. So good morning. Good morning and glad to be back again at Hope FM. First, I'd like to thank you guys for the great work you do for getting the word out of the word and what's happening in the community. Well, that's our pleasure and, and our service to the Lord. And we're happy about that. Well, Choices is a faith-based youth mentor program. We're launching it in West Putnam County tomorrow at 6 o'clock p.m. in the Interlocking Community Center. Choices is founded by myself in memory of my son, Tyler Randolph Eugene Williams. Tyler was murdered in September and July of uh, 17, 2020 in Silver, North Carolina. Uh, when someone is murdered or commits suicide, it's a totally different and devastating feeling than normally from other deaths, even though they're tragic, but they're anticipated. But when someone is murdered or commits suicide, there's all these answers you don't have. What could I have done? How could I have avoided it? So there were that five steps, you know, and then, you know, people would say, listen, day by day, Brenda, you'll get there wasn't happening for me. I couldn't go through the whole day. And I said, Lord, I just need you to help me step by step. And I birthed step by step a women's grief ministry for the victims of homicide and suicide survivors in September of 2020. And it's to help uh, the women especially deal with the grief that goes through that. We moved back from North Carolina to Palatka and launched, we launched our ministry here at the Embassy Church of God in Christ where my husband, Dr. Will Chambliss, is pastor. And we went to West Putnam back in Interlocking. When we got there, it brought back so many memories because that's where Tyler was raised. Uh, Interlocking at Elementary Price Middle Interlocking High School. And then the Holy Spirit dropped on me, what if we can get on the other end of this and reach out and I can avoid, help one mother, one parent, from going through what I go through every day. Let's try and reach the young people and help them to make better choices. And from that, I launched Choices. It's a youth mentor program 
that's going to be dealing with the youth in rural communities. And when we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about what that's going to look like, how maybe you could get involved in that or find a place for your children to get involved. You're listening to Hope FM. Song will play. Good enough. Good morning again. We are talking with Dr. Brenda Miller Chambliss about Choices, a youth program that's kicking off tomorrow. Now, you were sharing about having lost your son. Yes. And that is uh, what kind of launched you into this ministry to other mothers, particularly. Yes. Something you never set out to do, but mm -hmm. the Lord has, has just given you such compassion for others that are struggling with the same thing. And it's possible that other mothers as difficult as this is, if they don't know the Lord, I can't imagine walking through that. So he's He's placed you with this this uh, knowledge yes. and this experience to be able to help others, just like what the Word tells us. We can comfort others when the Lord has comforted us in the midst of our trials. It is very difficult, Robin, and even with the Lord, and that's why with step-by-step -step women's grief ministry, for the victims of homicide and suicide survivors, it is a group you never want to be a part of. And it takes and calling on the strength of the Lord and each other to get you through. And so with what we did in launching Choices as a faith-based uh, youth mentor program, we are focusing on three areas, leadership development, goal setting, and management skills. We want to give young people, deal with them where they are. So it's going to be in person in the Interlocking Community Center, but because of our media background, we're also going to be launching a YouTube channel in uh, the fall, in August. A YouTube channel, we're going to be doing TikTok and all of those things to reach the young people where they are. Because as putting the flyers and things out and talking about this, we've gotten calls. One, one lady contacted me and said, okay, we're in Crescent City. We need this over here. What are we going to do about this? You know, it was almost like, okay, you can't just do that over there. And I realized, so we're now looking at how to do that, and we want and we need the involvement of the community to help. It's amazing because on May 3rd, uh, the Palakadu News had a, a front page article, officials of schools facing vaping epidemic. Uh, Superintendent Rick Sorensen said, students of vaping products is something our school administrators have been dealing with at an increasing rate over the past few years, and most of the vaping epidemics have been an interlocking where we're at. So we're out there, and we say faith-based because, you know, when you're dealing with the schools, there's perimeters and guidelines. So we have Christ at the forefront of this, but we're getting it where we can get this message out, and we want to uh, involve those that are dealing with this and reach those young people before they get there. So your inaugural meeting is yes. tomorrow evening. Yes. And uh, where and when if people want to get involved? It's going to be in the Interlock and Community Center, 135 South Highway 315. Thank the Putnam County Recreation Department to donate the building time for us. It's at 1315, 135 South Highway 315 in Interlocking, in the Interlock and Community Center. And that's from 6 to 7. For more information, they can call me at 828 Three one six seven four zero eight eight two eight three one six seven four zero eight, or go to our website at stepbystepwgm.com. And I would encourage any adults listening that say, yes, I'd like to get involved. I'd like to lend a hand with this. Definitely get in touch. Well, Dr. Brenda, thank you so much for coming in to let us know about it. Glad to, that you have us back again, and we're looking forward to it. Terrific. Thank you. You are so welcome. I'm so shy. Hi, this is Dr. Brenda Miller Chambers, and I'm excited to tell you about Choices. Choices is a faith-based youth mentor program for youth in West Putnam County. Choices is the youth component of step-by-step -step women's grief ministry for the victims of homicide and suicide survivors, which I founded in 2020 after the yet unsolved murder of my son, Tyler Williams, who grew up and attended school in Interlochen. Choices is designed to work with our rural communities youth, offering positive alternatives to many negatives. Choices focuses on leadership development, goal setting, and life management skills. Choices launches on Tuesday, May 9th, 6 p.m. in the Interlocking Community Center and will be held there monthly on the second Tuesday. Find out more on Hope FM's community calendar or our website at stepbystepwgm.com.
and we're back. You're watching Step by Step TV. I am your host, Dr. Brenda Miller Chambliss, and Step by Step TV is the media outreach of Step by Step, a women's grief ministry for victims of homicide and suicide survivors. And we are excited to be launching tomorrow, that's right, here in West Putnam County in Interlochen in the Interlochen Community Center, 135 South Highway 315 in person in the Interlochen Community Center from six until seven. If you are in or near the area, I encourage you, parents come out, young people come out and be with us. We want to meet you, we want to greet you, we want to introduce you. This is kind of our coming out formal meet and greet here at um, the Choices Youth Mentor Program. It is a faith-based program, but it is not church. Even though we're NBC Church of God in Christ pastors, this is not church and we want to emphasize that because that's how we can stay and connect with the schools, and other uh, areas as a faith-based outreach. But it is not Bible study, it's not youth church, amen. But bring the Lord along with you, because we sure will. But our focus is on mentorship, positive, helping our young people make positive choices. And parents, a lot of that, can I say we're responsible? Wow, wow, wow. Did she say that? Yes. We are responsible. Now we're faith-based, so I'm going to pull from a scripture, if I can, that says, train up a child in the way that you would have them to go. And when they're grown, they will not depart from that. Well, listen, we are responsible. I, I remember how back in the 80s, latchkey kids, we left our children Children were being raised by MTV, uh, BET. Uh, parents were not at home. Then came along the, the internet generation, which has totally taken over. And that's one of the reasons why we have this, because we're going to make sure that choices, even though it's in person, we're taking advantage of media, those that know us. Uh, and you will find out when you go to the, the uh, website, you get that information off the screen, Write that down, follow us at stepbystepwgm.com. You can go there, you can reach, you can contact me. Parents, listen, we have got to be responsible for helping to raise our children. We can't leave them to the internet. We can't leave them to their cell phones. They're being raised by YouTube, by WhatsApp, by TikTok, uh, you know, Twitter, all of these things. They're, you know, we used to send the children, our kids don't even go outside anymore. So we've got to take some responsibility to get more involved with our young people. I've got one more interview, but I just want to talk just for a couple of minutes if I can about, and this is going to be uh, quick. I'm going to run through it, but I'm going to come back on another show on Step by Step, Step TV, focusing on choices where I'm going to be talking about the top 15 challenges of our youth today. The top 15 challenges that our young people are facing on today. I'm going to run through them. Number one, academic problems. This is one of the main issues that our young people are facing. Peer pressure. Listen, we, some of the problems that our young people are facing, and I'm not talking about necessarily just high school kids. I'm going down, listen, one of the children that vaped and in the uh, interlocking area, well, no, it was several of them, five or six of them. They were in the elementary school, Robert Jenkins Elementary School. We went to the elementary school. We connected with uh, the junior senior high school, the guidance counselor there, awesome people at interlocking junior senior high school and at the Robert Jenkins Elementary School. We're gonna be getting out to Ocawilla Thank you for the uh, radio stations here that are putting us on. We're going to be doing some stations even over in Gainesville and the other surrounding area because we know that this is not just a local problem. If you'd like to reach out to us to get connected, to get more information, to see how you can help, or you yourself, maybe 
you have a young person or maybe you're a young person or a Gen Xer or a millennial that's watching this and you say, Dr. Brenda, I, I made some bad choices and I understand the, and I know what you can do. We'd love to have you come out, be a guest with us and speak to us, speak to these young people and help them. The peer pressure, all teens from different generations have faced peer pressure. However, the threat it possesses today is so different than how it was a few decades ago. You know, people might have said stuff to you, it upset you, but you didn't try to take your own life. These kids now are trying to fit in and the peer pressure is so hard. They're thinking of committing suicide. Number three, depression is more prevalent in our youth than ever. I mean, do you realize that according to a report, 12% of U.S. children ages 3 to 17 were reported to have experienced anxiety, depression, or around 30, not listen, 39 million kids today are suffering from anxiety or depression. We want to face that. Listen, I'm coming out. I'm bro This ain't Sunday school. This is, we've got to get this out here. And with choices, this youth mentor program launching in Interlock in Florida, but already destined to go nationwide. This is the youth mentor program of step-by-step -step women's grief ministry for the victims of homicide and suicide survivors. I've had a son that was murdered. Tyler, his murder is yet unsolved. And I deal, get you, get it, hold it together, Brenda, hold it together. I, I deal with that. I deal with that every day. Someone took it upon themselves to take my baby's life. That was a bad choice. See, we look at the victims of homicide and suicide, the survivors, but guess what? There's a mother that maybe has to go to court and watch their child be sentenced to life in prison because they made a bad choice. See, y'all don't know what y'all put your parents through. My God, think about that. Depression, I'm not gonna be able to go through all of this. Let me go two more and then stop bullying. Fourth on our list is uh, challenges of the youth is bullying. Unfortunately, bullying has been around for decades, but it's taken on a different look. It's taken on a different favor. If they were bullied, when I was at James A. Long Elementary, if somebody tried to bully me there, bully me there, that's as far as it got. Now they get online, they get on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter. They, they text it. Listen, they say nasty things. They put you in bad positions and the whole world knows it. Parents, we've got to get, take partner with your children. Partner with your children. In fact, it's due to the growth in tech that cyberbullying came into being and has taken over as a primary means of harassment. And I'm going to stop with number five, physical image. One of the most significant influences and challenges of the youth today is develop, developing self-confidence and self-acceptance amidst a society driven by an ever increasing focus on external standards of beauty and success. No thanks to social media. You're too short. You're too dark. You're too feminine. You're too masculine. You're too... What? I'm the best me. Listen, when God made me, he broke the image. I'm not a duplicate. I'm me. I've lost weight. I'm middleweight. But I've been a big sister. I was 276 pounds and I looked good and I was happy. I knew I needed to lose weight for health, for other reasons. Basically to get some weight, my knees and hips were saying, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so I needed to get that weight off. I dropped 110 pounds. I'm trying to lose about 35 more. Yeah. And I want to get down some more. But listen, our young people, they don't know how to accept themselves because they're spending so much time in tech and social media. 
they're forming their identities from what they're seeing, you know? And if you understood my son-in-law with Black Box Studio, and we're definitely gonna have him come in, and I'd like to congratulate them at that point, talking about making positive choices to Colby and Teresa Jackson to have them come on. To Colby was at Florida State. He was in, he got involved, he could have been, he got involved in drugs. He got made some bad choices. He turned his life around, gave his life to Christ, married my beautiful daughter, which made a great impact on his life. But now I'd like to congratulate them that Black Box Studio, their production has just been accepted and you can watch it on Amazon, you can watch it on Tubi and more. That's awesome. From a decision of you could have, you were a hoodlum. From hoodlum to producer, okay? That's awesome. Listen, I gotta rush and go. I'm gonna go to my next spot, one of the final interviews that I did for today at WIYD in Palatka. This is Dr. Brenda Miller Chambers. You're watching Step by Step TV. I'm gonna be back after this. Hi, this is Dr. Brenda Miller Chambers and I'm excited to tell you about Choices. Choices is a faith-based youth mentor program for youth in West Putnam County. Choices is the youth component of Step by Step Women's Grief Ministry for the victims of homicide and suicide survivors, which I founded in 2020 after the yet unsolved murder of my son, Tyler Williams, who grew up and attended school in Interlochen. Choices is designed to work with our rural communities youth, offering positive alternatives to many negatives. Choices focuses on leadership development, goal setting, and life management skills. Choices launches on Tuesday, May 9th, 6 p.m. in the Interlocking Community Center and will be held there monthly on the second Tuesday. Find out more on Hope FM's community calendar or our website at stepbystepwgm.com. And good morning to you. Seven thirty here this morning on the Cake and Country Station. Alrighty, and it's uh, not the Cake and Country. You're not the Cake and Country. I'm on the other side now. And you have to turn your mics up. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Only a different a, a new board over here, which uh, was long needed. Appreciate it very much. But uh, anyhow, we have company in the building here. Company this morning. in the building. Yes, and we were just. Uh, on the other side doing that so now we're going to talk to 98.3 and fm and 800 a and the wplk audience and tell us who you are and what you got going on because uh, she has a fantastic program happening well good morning wplk audience i'm dr brenda miller chambers and i'm here to talk about a new faith-based youth mentor program that's coming to west putnam county it's choices choices is a faith-based youth mentor program launching in West Putnam County, reaching that rural community. Choices I founded in memory of my son, Tyler Randolph, Eugene Williams. He was a former resident of Interlochen, where he attended Interlochen Elementary, Price Middle, and Interlochen High School. Tyler was murdered where we were living in Silva, North Carolina on July 17, 2020, and his murder is yet unsolved. When he was murdered, we relocated our church and ministry, which is the Embassy Church of God in Christ, with my husband, Dr. Will Chambliss, we relocated from North Carolina back to Florida and launched our ministry. As a result, when Tyler was murdered, you know, they say the five steps of grief, you go through them and you will get past it day by day. I wasn't doing that. That was not happening. I couldn't get through the day. I was saying, Lord, just help me step by step. In the process, I launched in 2020, step by step, uh, women's Grief Ministry for the Victims of Homicide and Suicide Survivors. If you've lost someone as a result of homicide or suicide, uh, even speaking to Mr. Deloach, he understands personally. If you've lost someone to homicide or suicide, it is a different grief. You ask yourself questions. What could I have done? What could I have changed? What did I miss? Well, in doing that, and when we started the ministry, the Embassy Church of God in Christ in Interlochen, I realized, you know, I'm on one end, but if we could reach the young people, if I could prevent one mom, one uncle, one family member from going through what I go through every day, 
I can do it. What's wrong? Our young people are making so many negative decisions, so many negative choices. Ergo, I launched Choices. It's designed to work and launch as a platform in uh, interlock and in reaching our youth, rural youth community and offer positive alternatives to a world where there's so many negatives. We're going to focus on leadership development, goal setting, management skills. We'll have information teaching and training in-house. We'll have video and in-person uh, people that will come in and be able to share from their experiences. And also in April, I mean August, we're looking to launch our YouTube channel because one of the ways to reach our youth is where they live online. This is a tech savvy. So we are, and by being in media, we're using all of our sources. So we're launching this as a pilot program uh, to reach out as on the front page of the Palaka Daily News on Wednesday, May 3rd, it said officials, schools facing vaping epidemic. Our superintendent, Rick Sears, he said, students' use of vaping products is something our school administrators have been dealing with at an increasing rate over the past few years. And there have been several recent incidents in Interlochen with overdoses from vaping. And now we're hearing this from around the county. So tomorrow we will be launching in-person choices in the Interlochen Community Center, a 135 South Highway 315. Thank the Putnam County Community Recreation Department for offering that to us to be able to have that there. And the Interlochen Community Center, 135 South Highway 315 in Interlochen, that's going to be from 6 to 7 p.m. We are encouraging parents to come out, bring your kids, young people to come out. The high schools, the elementary school, uh, middle school in Interlochen all have been sharing our information. Um, everyone in that area. So we are excited and we want to get in front of this as much as possible. You're doing a fantastic thing and we appreciate you doing that and uh, look forward to the good things that are going to happen here in our community because of you and your good husband. We appreciate you doing that. Thank you so much and thank you to this awesome radio ministry. Well, radio, can I say, well, hey, you're still ministry. You're helping, <laughs> you're helping folk every day. Hey, I love it. Thank you much. Thank you for having me in. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Dr. Brenda Miller Chambers, and I'm excited to tell you about Choices. Choices is a faith-based youth mentor program for youth in West Putnam County. Choices is the youth component of step-by-step -step women's grief ministry for the victims of homicide and suicide survivors, which I founded in 2020 after the yet unsolved murder of my son, Tyler Williams, who grew up and attended school in Interlochen. Choices is designed to work with our rural community's youth, offering positive alternatives to many negatives. Choices focuses on leadership development, goal setting, and life management skills. Choices launches on Tuesday, May 9th, 6 p.m. in the Interlochen Community Center and will be held there monthly on the second Tuesday. Find out more on Hope FM's community calendar or our website at Step by Step WGM. Dot com. Hey, that's it for me for today. Step by Step TV, Step by Step TV, the media outreach of Step by Step Women's Grief Ministry for the victims of homicide and suicide survivors, launching our Youth Mentor Program Choices. Monday, May 9th, in person in the Interlochen Community Center, 315 South Highway, 315, 135 South Highway 315 in Interlochen, Florida. Once again, 135 South Highway 315 in the Interlochen Community Center. From 6 until 7, parents come young people come parents bring your young people come out and meet us we'd like to introduce ourselves to you we want to partner with you with your young people to help work with them and teach them discipline goal setting life management skills 
We want to work with you as parents to help you get more involved, communicate with your youth. We want to take this information and make it social and media where we can reach them right where they are. Listen, that's it for me on today. If I may offer this quick prayer, Father, look over our parents, look over our children, look over our homes, strengthen us, encourage us for those who've lost loved ones as a result of murder or suicide, for those who have young people that have made choices and that they're dealing with the lifestyle of drugs, sexual promiscuity, uh, crime, drugs, vaping, all of those issues. Lord, we need your help and we're trusting you. We give it all to you in Jesus' name. Amen. That's it for me. Make sure you go to the website, stepbystepwgm.com and go to the header for Choices Youth Mentor Program. As always, you can reach out to me through the internet or you can reach out to me by phone, 828-316-7408. And when you go to the internet, just contact. It'll email me and I'll reach you there. Until then, remember, choices. You fail or succeed by the choices you make. I'll see you next time. Hi, this is Dr. Brenda Miller Chambers and I'm excited to tell you about Choices. Choices is a faith-based youth mentor program for youth in West Putnam County. Choices is the youth component of Step by Step Women's Grief Ministry for the victims of homicide and suicide survivors, which I founded in 2020 after the yet unsolved murder of my son, Tyler Williams, who grew up and attended school in Interlochen. Choices is designed to work with our rural communities youth, offering positive alternatives to many negatives. Choices focuses on leadership development, goal setting, and life management skills. Choices launches on Tuesday, May 9th, 6 p.m. in the Interlocking Community Center and will be held there monthly on the second Tuesday. Find out more on Hope FM's community calendar or our website at stepbystepwgm.com. Step by step, I'm walking this road. Never thought I'd make it this far. When I think about the mercy you've shown me, I must confess you can use anything. Indeed, I'm walking steadily. If it had not been you by my side When the enemy came in for my life Now I know he would have destroyed me Leaving me to die in my sin and shame
Hi, this is Dr. Brenda Miller Chambers, and I'm excited to tell you about Choices. Choices is a faith-based youth mentor program for youth in West Putnam County. Choices is the youth component of step-by-step women's grief ministry for the victims of homicide and suicide survivors, which I founded in 2020 after the yet unsolved murder of my son, Tyler Williams, who grew up and attended school in Interlochen. Choices is designed to work with our rural communities youth offering positive alternatives to many negatives. Choices focuses on leadership development, goal setting, and life management skills. Choices launches on Tuesday, May 9th, 6 p.m. in the Interlochen Community Center and will be held there monthly on the second Tuesday. Find out more on Hope FM's community calendar or our website at stepbystepwgm.com.